Good morning. So what was Paul's reaction when Timothy returned with the good news? Today we're in 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 6 to 10. And here's what it says. But now that Timothy has come to us from you and brought us good news of your faith and love, and that you always have good remembrance of us, greatly desiring to see us as we also to see you, therefore, brethren, in all our affliction and distress, we were comforted concerning you by your faith. For now we live if you stand fast in the Lord. For what thanks can we render to God for you, for all the joy with which we rejoice for your sake before our God, night and day praying exceedingly that we may see your face and perfect what is lacking in your faith. So Timothy was sent out and he goes to Thessalonica and soon he returns with some very good news in spite of the challenges that they were having. So Timothy is sent out and he soon returns with good news. In spite of the challenges that they have had, uh, they are doing pretty well there. Yes, you can read about the challenges in Acts 17 and in here in the book of Thessalonians, First and Second Thessalonians both. There are challenges going on, but Timothy comes back, he's got really good news. And here's another reason we want to pray for our sister churches. Not only do they sometimes have challenges and they, they need our prayers for their own help, but when they have good news, it's our good news too. And so we sometimes we need some encouragement, and we can have that encouragement when we hear good news back that our sister church over here has just uh, completed this this uh, special event, and there was blessings, and people were brought to the Lord. People increased in their understanding of the present truth that God has given us in the Bible for these last days. People have been baptized. There's some good news coming. We want to hear that good news. So we want to pray for our sister churches. We want to hear back the good news and be encouraged. And that's exactly what happens. Paul is here in Corinth, and he hears back from Timothy at last. Good news, the congregation is doing, doing well, actually. So, very comforting to Paul. Another thing that's quite interesting here is that Timothy brings word of the faith and love of the Thessalonian church. It's, we think of faith and love kind of in this ethereal, kind of theoretical, um, it's, it's a, it's a, we kind of have this cognitive thing where those words, oh, those are just kind of these vague, fuzzy ideas, but when we look at the Bible, we see that faith and love are not uh, fuzzy, foggy pieces. Those are always manifest in some particular, concrete, definite way. There's things that, that churches do that are bring actual blessing to people. So we want to watch for that, and we want it so that in our churches, the word will go out when somebody visits our church. Faith and love is a pretty good thing you want in the report when people hear about your church. You want that. Those are concrete principles. They're not just fuzzy things. And faith and love make an awesome combination. They go together quite well, because, and they will be there because God created us in Christ Jesus before the world began, Ephesians 2.10, for good works. So our churches are going to be, uh, there will be cases and ways in which people are being blessed by the ministry of our churches, unless our churches are just, just shut down and sleeping. So, so God be with us as he was with the Thessalonian church so that we... Our churches will be known as places of faith and love, demonstrated in some actual way. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that we can pray for our churches, even our sister churches, and that you're, you will put your blessing upon them. You want them to prosper. Help us, Lord. Help us so that our churches are reflecting the gospel. Help them to be places of faith and love so that when the people ask, oh, what's going on at that church? The word comes back, we saw the faith and love of God demonstrated in the believers in that congregation. Please let that be true in our churches, Lord, the churches where each one of us are individually. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's make sure that our churches, uh, wherever your membership is, wherever you are attending church and worshiping and bringing people to hear God's truth from his word, or wherever that's at, May those, that also be a place of faith and love. This is our, our good thing to pray for and seek for today. God be with you on this special day. Every day is a great day in the Lord Jesus. and He will get you through the challenges that you're going to face even this day.